This is AIM Agenda and uh, before we get on to US politics with Stephen Loosely, I'm going to go to Melbourne. I'm joined by Labor MP and uh, the member for Melbourne Ports, Michael Danby. Uh, you've just released an, an ad today in the Financial Review, Michael. I want to get your thoughts, so we'll get you to elaborate on it, at least for our viewers. It's targeting Julie Bishop once again, um, and this is in the context of the lifting of sh sanctions on Iran. What do you want to see out of this? Because from what I understand, Labor formally is not opposing this particular foreign policy position. Yes, but, but Labor's been raising since uh, the end of last year that we should have a further parliamentary scrutiny on this. One can be in favour of the treaty like uh, Ms Bishop is and be consistent. She condemned, as she should have, the North Korean missile tests but she said nothing about uh, Iran's uh, missile tests in October and December, which are in violation of the United Nations. So uh, we're, the, the, the opposition is going to be uh, examining what we should do about this. The uh, setting aside of sanctions can be uh, um, looked at until the uh, 15th of March. And I, I've uh, put this ad in because I, I believe there are a lot of people in Australia, there are a lot of people in the parliament who would like there to be more parliamentary scrutiny of whether lifting these sanctions is going to help uh, Iran's regional aggression. Kieran, as we speak, Iran, Hezbollah and the Russians have 300,000 people in Aleppo surrounded and uh, their pattern of regional aggression is continuing. The Australian Parliament should at least have a debate about this. I don't and, expect and everyone to agree with me, in, but a debate. You'll be arguing internally against the lifting of these sanctions quite clearly as you as you know this is that would be going against our biggest uh, most important security ally in its position the white house very clear on its uh, on this thawing of relations with with tehran yeah, and 71 percent of american people um, polled most recently um, by pew research are not in favor of the treaty with iran all i'm saying is that in the australian parliament we ought to have a debate as they've had in the American Congress. Uh, let's uh, see uh, why Julie Bishop hasn't condemned the guided missile tests that Iran has done. We should be consistent if we condemn the North Korean ones, as we should. We should condemn the Iranian ones. Um, there is a, a, an opportunity for people in the public, uh, if uh, this is referred, for instance, to a Senate Foreign Relations Committee, for people to make public input. I think that's what the foreign minister is afraid of. I think this policy may be the, the policy of the Obama administration, but it's not popular, Kieran, amongst parliamentarians or amongst Western publics. Uh, Michael Danby, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for that. Thanks, and Kieran. we'll talk to you soon on that issue, obviously, very uh, passionate about.